what we do here is go back, 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 back. back. Kieran the Barber, a part of Baldi's Barbers in Ellsbury, also one of the Andes educators. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a modern surfer pump. It's one of my favourites, it's what I've started doing over the last couple of months. Um, for that I'm going to be using my XL2 speeds um, and I'm going to go, I'm going to literally be using the detachable blades on them. And what I'm going to be doing with the detachable blades is I'm going to go up from a 2 to a one, to a zero, to a five zero, and we're gonna go all the way down to skin, right at the bottom, tapering it out. And on the top, what I'm gonna be using is, I'm gonna be using my T24 blade, just to go through the top, just to make it texturized, and give it some texture, give it some play, just so we can muck about with it. The detachable blades on the first detachable blade I'm going to stick on is my number two. Um, I'm going to I'm going to work my way down, so I'm going to go two, one, zero point five, zero, bold, right at the very very bottom. We're literally just tapering that bottom bit out. Um, these are two speeds, so I'm going to stick it on the most powerful speed first of all, just for that sort of getting rid of bulk. I'm literally just going to take my tool all the way up. This is going to be very disconnected from the sides. What I want to do is I want to mess it up, really, really give this hair some texture, some definition. Um, so it sort of is all, pretty much all over the place. I want it to be like standing up, and real messy. Because you used to get sort of say the mid 2000s where all the sort of Justin e. Bieber haircuts come out where they were sort of real sort of messy top but all really low on the sides. I wanna I wanna try and recreate sort of something like that but with really really short sides um, and really messy on top because everyone's at the minute is going very clean cut on the top, very sort of smart cut. Um, like the pompadours, the side parts and stuff like that. I want to come away from that a bit because it's summer. And everyone likes to have something different than the summer. Everyone, every barber who watches this video who's been a barber for years know around sort of May, June time, people start coming in and go, I want a summer cut, I want something different, what have you got? It happens around May, June, July. That's the time where people come in and want something different. So for me, this is something completely different. What I've just really started doing and mucking about on one of the guys who work for us, um, Tommy Poppet on Instagram. I don't know if you guys follow him, but he um, he started it off. He told me he wanted something different, and we were like, okay, well, we'll, we'll try this then. And from there, people have seen the seen the picture, wanted the cut, and now I'm going to try and recreate it on Little Jack, and we're going to see how well this goes. 
This is the first time you've had this, isn't it, Jack? Yeah. So, it's something completely different for Jack. Jack's used to having it really smart on the top, sort of pomped style, push, push back. So yeah, we're gonna, um, we're gonna try and recreate something new, something a bit different. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna bring this up quite nice and high. I'm gonna make sure that line is nice and straight in there. Um, as is the two, there'll still be edging around there, so I can take it up as high as I want. Put it all up. <laughs> so yeah, so what I'm doing is I'm taking it just above this line. Because it's a number two, there's still hair there, there's still quite dark shadowing. So I can take that up all the way around. And when I put my zero, my triple zero grade on, I'm gonna um, clip over comb just that bit off. Take that up nice and high. As you see, it's, there's a slight pivot on this, so you can just flick up as well. So it takes away that, just that little edge, so it's just easier for you guys when you're blending. Right guys, so now I've detached my number two, I'm gonna stick on a 1A. I'm literally just gonna attach that on. And then with a number one, just gonna come up, flick up on and out. Just a little bit lower than the number two I did. I love the XL2 speed, it's my favorite sort of detachable clipper. I've, I've had a fiddle about with a few. Um, and this is easily my favourite one, just because if one it feels like it's working real good, you don't get no sort of hair pulling or anything like that. Um, it's big, it's nice and chunky. There's two speeds on it from when you want to take out a lot of bulk when you're texturising. So say you want to take out a look, give the hair loads and loads of texture, you can stick it on the second speed. And if you just want to give the hair just a tiny, tiny bit of texture, you stick on the one speed, you'll take off a lot less hair. It'll go through the hair a lot slower. As you can see, that's blending in really nicely. I haven't had to um, clip over comb any of my work, scissor over comb any of it. It's just blending really nicely and naturally, just straight in there. And then straight away, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take off this number one. And I'm going to stick on a stick on a zero A, which is zero A is a zero point five. Stick on the second speed again. Head down slightly, Jackson. Brilliant, thank you. And I'm literally gonna come up, flip up. See now, people always worry when they're doing hair like this and they, they can't see the fade. Don't be scared to just grab your brush, even if it's halfway through. Comb all the hair out to see where you're actually at. Comb off your clippers so they're nice, clean and fresh. It's gone on the head again. So, to be fair, I see a lot of barbers and they um, they don't keep their comb in their hand, they keep their brush in their hand when they're fading. I, I, I've just always had a natural habit for keeping my comb in my hand at all times, so that's just the way I do things. It might not be the right way to do things, but that's how I do it, that's how I've always done it. It seems to have worked for me. So, with my number one, I'm literally just going to take it up, flick out slightly the edge in. And just really um, getting used to detachables. I've never ever used them before. They haven't really been available to me other than when um, when I went to see Andy and, and sort of became their UK educator. And they were like, you've got to try these, they're absolutely brilliant. And I was like, well, I've never used them before. I've been barbering now for 12 years. Um, I don't really know how to use them. So I've got few of the guys there were demoing, I got to, I got to have a cheeky watch and I was like, do you know how easy this is to do? Alright, it's come taking them on and off, on and off. Um, 
it's so easy though. And it, it makes the it makes the fade really fresh and, and crisp. Everyone has their own way of doing things and everyone will you you'll learn the basics. Like you'll learn the very basics of scissor over comb and, and clip over comb and clipper work, cutting the top, club cutting, etc. etc. And then from the basics you'll have this you have this brilliant foundation in barbering where you can literally just go mad and, and you have your own method. As long as you've got the basics there, you can pretty much go, right, I'm gonna do this and mix this with this. I'll do a bit of this. And as long as the haircut, as long as the client is happy and it comes out nice, who, who gives a shit? Like, who gives a fuck how you cut and what you do? It's how you do it and how creative you can possibly be. And that's why I like barbering because it's endless. It's not just basic old day in day out, one all over, two all over, French crops. Not that French crop is boring, zero is zero or one. Depends how creative you are with it and how, how much you want to spend sort of willing to learn and, and adapt your style and stuff like that. I'm harping on a little bit, but I just fucking love my job. I absolutely love my job. Yep. Right, so now guys, what I've done is, is I've attached my triple zero head to the clippers. Um, triple zero, um, in American terms, um, is the triple zero. <laughs> in the UK, it is just a bog standard zero. Um, 0. Point, what is it zero? It's a 0. 0.3 mil, I believe. If I'm wrong, please comment on my YouTube, tell me that I'm wrong, tell me that I'm a massive idiot and I should know my, my grades by millimetres. And if I'm right, I'm awesome. But I, I think it's a 0. 0.3. And then what I'm going to do is, as it is on the slightest of slightest pivots. So yeah, um, as it's on a very, very slight pivot, what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to be phasing it out, just slowly, slowly. I guess now it looks like I'm going to be fast, but I'm not. And then just literally flicking that out ever so slightly. Just fade that in. And while I had my favourite triple zero head, it is not just for a triple zero, it's also for blending. So I'll use my triple zero head and my my Andis flat top comb. Come in, literally just take off them edges. Right, so now I'm going to take that edge off, literally with a zero, just doing the side bones, stretching the skin slightly. Coming down there, just taking it out.
Right, so before I sort of take it around the edges with the blade and stuff like that, because it's obviously me and Doc on the zero, I'm going to get on to cutting the top now. So with the top, I'm going to do sheer work all over. Um, so I'm literally going to use my triple zero grade. I'll stick on the comb, speed on double speed. Um, Jack's hair, we're literally going to be taking off of an inch, not crazy amounts because we want it to stick. So I'm just going to shear work all the way through that first. So I've sheared work that all the way through now and then I'm going to come back into it. I'm literally just going to chip into it before I proper proper take my T24 blade and give it some texture. I just want the men's to be very very chipped into, very texturized, just to give it some play really, just to give it some sort of movement instead of it being sort of very dead cut um, and straight. We want it to be all over the place. I like. I want. To say Jack went to another barber's um, than the Baldies. If someone wants to pick this hair up and look at it, they would be like, "What the hell has this guy done?" That's how texturized I want it to be. <laughs> I want people to go, "Oh my god, this isn't straight at all." Because I don't want it to be straight. I want it to be messy. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about this, this T24 Ultra Edge Blade. Um, the T stands for Texturize, the 24 stands for the 24% of hair that it takes off every time you go through the hair. Um, I've had a lot of barbers say, why do you, why would you do that? Why would you use a clipper head to thin out? when you've got um, escalaps or thinning scissors or you can just literally chip into the hair. Some barbers even sort of said why do you, why do you thin hair out? It's sort of it's a very frowned upon thing in this industry to do. Um, and to them I say fuck them. Um, how can people say that a bit of thinning scissors or chipping in or texturizing or any kind of way that people want to do someone's hair wrong if it looks right, like I can, under, like I'm trying to take out a bit of bulk. I'm trying to take out a bit of so it sort of lays heavy, and then people come and they say you can't do this, you can't do that. You obviously they're not creative enough and they're not imagine it, imaginative enough to sort of be the way I am or other people like me are because they're just very narrow minded, um, and I find it slightly pathetic to be honest. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you how fucking awesome this blade is and how well this really, really works in someone's hair. Right, so now I've stuck my T24 blade on. I'm literally pulling down the hair. Coming up. Going for it. Coming back down. Coming back up. Go for it. And it's literally as simple as that. And that's all I wanted to do with that. So not go crazy with it, but just take out enough weight and texturize it enough so I feel that it sits a lot better than it would do if it was thicker. So I'm just gonna wet this hair down. Stick some Baldi sea salt spray in there. Like 
sea salt spray, if you don't use sea salt spray, um, then that's your opinion. <laughs> I can't really stop you from not using it. I just, I use it, I use it a lot to be fair. I use it probably more than I should. I love it, I absolutely love it. Especially as a pre-product, it's awesome. Tastes funny though. A little bit of fairy dust. Wow, that's wet. This is um, this is my technique um, of blow drying this, and it is the weirdest technique in the world. But for some, Tom taught me this to be fair. Now Tom has been with us six months. Um, his hair kind of just gotten better and better and better, and he's always been able to style hair from from day dot. And he taught me this weird, weird way of styling. So literally, we're going to be blow drying, and I'm literally going to be in a rotation motion on the head. Um, at all times and then the fringe I'm just going to pull up slightly rotate pull up slightly rotate So this is what I'm going to do. I'll show you Literally. Not you really rough dry in someone's hair So now I'm going to use a bit of Baldi's hard as. Um, just going to put a little bit in there. Let this haircut always go for. So just get it really warm in your hands. Go from back to front. So you go backwards first, and come back on it. And then before I do that, I stick. Tiniest bit of hairspray in So guys, this is my messy surfer pop um, with a zero just on them side bits. They're blending that all the way up into a two with my detachable blades on my two speed XL. If you like my video, give me a like, give me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, um, have fun, enjoy your week, chill out, high five to everyone. Thank you very much.